Hey everybody, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a standalone video or I started a weekend vlog this morning um, but all I've recorded is Hi, I'm doing a welcome, I'm doing a welcome, I'm doing a weekend vlog um, So I've just got home, it is Can't see because I've took my glasses off um, One minute past nine on Friday the 11th of March. Um, I've just been to an event at the body shop in Manchester. And they gave me a little baguette. So I thought I would share you what they gave me and what I bought myself. Um, the event was to launch or raise awareness to their British Rose um, collection, which launched a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> And everything smelled lovely. I've never been a fan of rose, uh, but since using stuff from Neil Jard, which is rose hip, um, I've actually quite grown to like it. You've probably heard me moan about the smell of the Body Shop Wild Rose hand cream, which I vary whether I like or not. Um, but this British rose stuff, I had a hand and arm massage, and they used some exfoliator, shower gel, um, and it wasn't a body butter which I'm not a fan of, um, it was, I don't want to say they called it an elixir and it was quite liquidy but it was definitely a cream, it wasn't a gel or anything like that um, and spritzing with the EDT and I really like it. If you've smelt the green tea, um, which I've got the EDT of that which I bought before Christmas, I don't use that much because I feel like it's more of a summery smell but it's definitely got the background smell of that. Um, so I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you what I've got. I also placed a River Island order, which was ready for collection tomorrow. But I got an email as I left work saying it, that it come in. Um, so I had a bit of a trauma because I got sent upstairs. Uh, I didn't ask at the till downstairs. I had somebody on the shop floor and they said go to ladies wear. There was about four people in the queue. One girl haggling over. A ripped coat that she just bought but it wasn't in one of these it was in a H&M bag and she wanted still wanted it even though it was ripped but she went 50% off um, 15 20 minutes later I got to the front of the queue and they went you need to go to men's wear hmm. luckily there was there was one person just finishing up when I got down there so I was fine sorry I've got quite like, dodgy greasy fringe going on it looks I washed it last night and it's like Whoa. This is going weird, right? Okay, so I'm gonna rip open this and let's see what I've got. This is from the um book size stuff that they're doing, which is great. I, I love now that I've got another place to shop. What's really bad is it only goes up to a size 24. Um when I used to be up to like size 16, 18, it was rare I could find things to fit me in River Island. Um, it was only like tops and t-shirts and never ever got into a pair of filing jeans even when I was a size 16. Um, I'm a bit of an odd shape which you'll have seen if you've seen me walking about. Um, and kind of only really new look jeans. Joyce Perkins jeans don't fit me so River Island are not in the same sort of group as Topshop and Joyce Perkins and things like that. Oh Evans jeans fit me which is weird because they're in that group. I've hardly eaten today, I've hardly had anything to drink, I didn't have any alcohol while I was out, which you might find strange to believe because I am like Rrr! I did have some sugary apple drink now, that could explain it. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> they're only going up to a size 24, which to be quite honest, is a bit shit. So I think I don't know what size to start at. Um, but the, they're actually at if I'd seen this advert before I bought these, I don't think I would have bought from them because the, the look at wannabe princess Debs's Instagram and she summed it up perfectly and it's something like style for every size or plus shouldn't be segregated, fashion for all. So why are you only going up to a size 24? I know you've only just launched, it launched on Tuesday maybe but come on for more sizes um so bought these I believe these are the molly jeans and these are in a 22 regular 
Um, and they're not jeans, they're jeggings. Um, yeah, mullet mid-rise. Um, and these are 22 regular. <gasps> Whoa. I don't think my leg is going to fit in that. Whoa, that is super, that is stretchy. Um, I would prefer them to be jeans and have front pockets. I carry shit around with me, not like literal shit. Um, excuse me beeping outside. They feel really stretchy. Got a little River Island button, but that's metal on the inside. I feel like that is gonna hurt me. Um, <sighs> And they've got embroidered molly. Can you see that? Ugh, I haven't got enough hands. It says molly there anyway. I think they'll be big enough there. I don't think they're gonna be big enough there. So, they're all right, they're a nice color. I wanted some paler ones, but not light. Um, they should have been 40 but I had a discount code so I paid 32 for them. And then I had a voucher, I don't know if it's still valid but it was Style W316 um, which said if you spend over £50 um, you get 20% off. So I bought these two vest t-shirts which were 6 quid each so I think it was like 4 20 um, Just very basic don't feel great quality but I like that it's a v-neck rather than a round neck um, and these have the 18 to 24 label um, again I got a 22 I feel like that'll fit it does feel nice and soft but and it's quite long I don't know if you can see that because I can't see you now which I like in a vest top so Feels alright, can't go on with basics. Um, and I got the same in white because it took my order over. I don't know how deep that V is, I hope it's not too deep. Um, so I got that. And it is free returns in store and free returns by post. So. I actually thought I was going to return in the vests, um, but I think I might be returning the jeans. I feel I feel a bit underwhelmed by them. I don't feel that they're £32 or even £40 jeans. So, that's that. Uh, and then, I nipped into Yankee Candle. What I really, really want, and they did have them, is the wax melt tart melter um that you plug in i've been reading some reviews online and it's really mixed but my friend's got one and really liked it um so i thought i'd get one but they're 24 pounds in the shop and i think you can get them for like 20 on amazon um but i did buy a traditional candle um what are these called? I don't know what they're called. Okay. May result in a fire. You put a candle in it. Of course it's a fire hazard. Um, so it's just plain creamy white and it says Yankee Candle on it. It's got little softy things on the feet and it is slightly raised so although you'll need a heat protector I feel like because it's up a little bit it's not going to damage and it's raised up inside as well which you probably can't see um, and this was 6 99 I had a lovely glass one of these and um, it got knocked over and smashed and I have got one other but I kind of oh it's chipped a bit oh well never mind I probably did that um I felt like I wanted another one um, I couldn't resist, even though I bought quite a few ads the other day. Um, I bought Summer Scoop, which smells so good. Um, strawberry Buttercream, 
which smells really good. It's hard to, to get the true scent of them when you're in the shop because there are so many. And I actually bought Wedding Day because I thought that smelled really nice. Um, and then because I was a bit early for the body shop, I nicked into Lush. Um, I wanted to get some of the new Eastry things, but everything was covered in glitter. Um, and we know I don't I have a bit of an aversion to glitter, which so I was a bit disappointed with that. Um, but I did get this, which is a You've Been Mangled Bath Oil. Um, this could be dangerous because it's oil, um, but it's not glitter yet, it smells really good. And it's green and yellow. It is quite oily. Um, right, okay, so which shall I do next? Shall I do what I bought from the body shop or shall I do what they gave us? They did say it was going to be competition, um, little competitions for the goodie bags, but not that many people turned up, which was a shame because they did go to quite a lot of effort and the um, little makeovers, which I had. Um, she did something amazing to my eyebrows. Now, I don't know if I'm just... I don't know, I really like it. So I'm going to do what I bought. I bought the product she used on my eyebrows, which is Smoky 2-in-1 Gel Liner. Um, and the other, sadly, this only comes in two shades. It comes in black and brown. Um, and it's a little pot. It unscrews and it's a gel. Um, and then it's got a little... <coughs> I can't get it off. Oh, the, a little brush. Um, but you can also use it as eyeliner or um, brows and I do quite like it. It's a bit intense but I could get used to it um, and it's real. <clears throat> you can go dark with it or you can put it on really light which is probably why they've only done a couple of shades. Um, and then I decided to get one of the, I just like swimming in receipts down here, um, one of the Wild Argan hand creams because uh, this smells really good and um, it was three for two so i got uh, i don't know how you say this moninga um hand cream and i bought a classic coconut um, my friend at work's been using this and she didn't like the smell of it and i hated the smell of it and then one day last week i was like oh that smells amazing i want it i want it so i bought three of them Please tell me to stop buying hand cream. I have hundreds of the bloody things. Okay. So finally, I'll show what they give you. I've not had a proper look in this, so this is a semi unboxing, unbagging. But how beautiful is this little bag? This is, I mean, I might have to give this to me as a, not the stuff inside it, but just, just the bag as a gift bag. So there was a shower, they call them bath lilies scrunchy shower poof um but this is a bath lily um i've not got one of these at the moment um so that's good um they've given me a 10 pounds off when you spend 25 pounds valid tomorrow i'm actually going to manchester tomorrow I'm not planning on spending it but maybe the people i'm with might want to use it wow what the heck oh they've spoiled us here um, so they've given us a very little, a little, a miniature tub of the strawberry body butter. Um, so I'm not a fan of body butter, mainly because I get bored of the smell, but this size will, I should be alright with that. A Satsuma shower gel. I've not used the Satsuma stuff for years. Um, my friend bought me this giant gift set when I was about 18. And after using it about three times, I was like, I don't like to have to warm my bones. That smells pretty good actually. I thought I was going to smell that and think, oh that reminds me of my youth but it doesn't. Um, the pink grapefruit hand hand cleanser gel, so this is hand sanitizer, which is good because I'm nearly out of the, um, ooh, that smells delicious. I'm not a massive fan of pink grapefruit in close proximity. Ooh, I like that. I could drink that. That would be nice. It's a cocktail. I'm not advising people to drink it. And then finally, not finally, finally for products anyway, is Shea Sugar Body Scrub. Ooh. 
Oh, that smells lovely. It feels nice and gritty, which is what I like. And the last thing in there, which is really nice of them to give us a gift bag, is um, a little bag for life. Body loving, bubble bathing, rule breaking, never faking, cruelty banning, life changing body sharp. And then it's got like peace and bunnies and stuff. Oh, thank you, Body Shop. Um, it was a lovely event. I got to see, I didn't really, really speak to many people other than um, Susan, whose blog I'll link below. Go and check her out. She is a lovely person. She's got a shop and she does things like your colours and that you wear the right colours for your skin. I don't really care what colours I wear, but if you're into that sort of thing, check Susan out because she's lovely and orange is her colour. Um, she always looks amazing in it and I think I've I think I've only ever seen her wear orange so um but yeah she's fab so it was a really lovely night um got the tram home made it to the bus stop in time for the bus um sadly it was a stagecoach bus and I've got first bus pass but it was only two pounds to get home, which is far cheaper than a taxi. Um, and I'm home, and it was nine o'clock, a couple of minutes to nine when I got in. So I'm gonna go. I need to go and find some food because I've had a chicken sandwich, some grapes. Grapes, I didn't eat my apple. Oh, I had a yogurt. Bottle of pop. Two glasses of fizzy, alcohol-free, sparkling apple jig. Oh, and I had one chocolate, a white chocolate, like Italian truffle. I've seen them in Caluccio's and places like that. It was delicious. I could have had loads of them, but because I'd not had much to eat all day, I thought I might be poorly if I ate too many. <clears throat> I do believe we have a bag of mini eggs in the fridge, unless um, the parents have taken them them. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and light my light my fire. No, not my fire. What's the other thing? Yankee burner. I'm gonna get rid of these daffodils because they are looking a little bit sad. And then I'm gonna find something rubbish to watch on telly and veg out. So tomorrow I'm going to Manchester with two of my friends. I was meant to meet some other friends for dinner, tea, supper, um, but sadly I've been stood up by the X Factor. But that's all right because I'm going to have an amazing afternoon with the two friends that I am meeting for shopping, um, and I believe we're going for lunch. She bobs. This is probably going to be a standalone video because I've been talking for nearly 20 minutes. Rumble, rumble, rumble. That is me, right? So I'm gonna say goodbye and um, carry on watching if there's any more time left because I've shoved it in the vlog. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.